what's going on y'all what it is so let's go ahead and slide on this topic and we haven't talked about wendy in a long time guys so now she's resurfaced there was something that came out about a month ago and i believe chronicle speaks cover that information but we now know that she's coming back on screen for a two-part documentary that's going to be airing on lifetime called where is wendy now if you guys haven't seen the trailer for this documentary it's quite heartbreaking and it's a hard watch i'm just glad to see that her family participated within this documentary and they seem to be by her side although within the trailer you can see them calling her out for drinking a bottle of vodka a day the trailer also highlights the fact that wendy thinks that she can make a comeback to television but it's very clear and evident just looking at her you can tell that her health is not up to par and if i'm being honest i think that ship has sailed and then also when you take into account when you look at the trailer the main focus of emphasis here is the fact that she's being effed over by her guardianship i mean the fact that this woman doesn't have any money is crazy as hell to me somebody is clearly taking advantage of her and they need to be called out and something needs to happen here i really think that wells fargo is behind this whole ordeal of course and i think there's somebody working that's a dirty entity within that company that's doing this to wendy williams for whatever reason now when i look at things in its totality i'm gonna say this and this may be an unpopular opinion but i feel that when wendy fired kevin right before she went through the divorce with Kevin, I believe it was a gift and a curse. We understand that Kevin deserved to be fired and we understand that he deserved to be divorced because of all the shady and disrespectful things that he did throughout the marriage to Wendy Williams. But, but say what you want, Kevin was a strong presence within her life and he did protect her, especially when she went into these rooms with these high level execs and things of that nature. And I believe that when she fired Kevin and Kevin was no longer attached to her, it opened up the floodgates to hell for people to take advantage of Wendy I just don't think that if Kevin was still around that they would have been able to take advantage of Wendy I don't think that he would have let it go down like that that's just my honest opinion but anyway what I'm gonna do right here is play you guys a few clips of people talking about this situation and then I'll be back to close the video all I wanted was to be famous Showtime. there's only one Wendy Williams the boss is walking everybody nobody can do it like Wendy no one People love Wendy. You are a star to all of us. She was in her living room every single day for 12 years. Yeah, I guess that'll do. And that's what people responded to, her authenticity. And then at the peak of her career, she was gone. Are we ready? Yeah, we're on you. All right, and away we go. All I know is how to be famous. I really want to be back on television. You're going to be back on TV. That's yep. easy. My mom has done a great job making it seem like everything is okay always. When do you make sure you look here? One, two, two, three. But in reality, there's something wrong going on. Did you see a neurologist to find out if I'm crazy? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. No, I can't do this. I can't do this. I have to sit down again. To be put in front of a judge and given a guardian. That was when they took her away from us. I have no money. And I'm going to tell you something. If it happens to me, it could happen to you. As her family, we were all sitting on the sidelines watching. And she was crying out for help. <laughs> Did you drink this whole thing today? Keep it there. Okay. Keep it there. My mom, she always talks about how she wants to work. But I feel as though she's worked enough. She has people around who are yes people and allowing this to continue. This is all too much. Go! Bye! I have no idea where we are. This doesn't look like anything familiar. I think she's losing memory. Have you guys noticed that? How dare him? I control me. I wait one thirty. Anybody could look at her and tell this is not just alcohol. There's something more going on. My family. I'll be here. Please be here. No matter how many times somebody may fall down, you gotta lift them back up. We all make choices in life. We all go through our challenges. She's still a person. How you doing? doing? That's my sister. There have been random people around you stealing money from me, getting money, whatever the case may be. Enough. Can you tell me where your sister is? No, I don't know the exact location of where she is. I feel like the Guardian has not done a good job of protecting my mom. My life. My life. Right now, she's weak and vulnerable. And she needs to be around people who aren't going to take advantage of that. 
I have no friends. You know how many people come out to support you? You know how many people love you? No, I don't. Are you thinking something good? I know. I think that the guardianship system is broken. We are her family. And you tell me that I'm not capable of taking care of my sister. What would you do? What should I do? I love being famous. But family was everything. So good to see you again, Dad. It's good to see you, babe. Everything. I think we have all been wondering, where has Wendy Williams been? It's been so long since any of us have really seen her in public or seen her do any sort of interview. Renee Rapp even made a comment during one of the Mean Girls interviews saying that the last time she was seen in public was over 200 days ago. However, the first trailer for her documentary, Where's Wendy Williams, was just released a couple minutes ago, and it is a two-part event that is going to be airing on February 24th and 25th on Lifetime, and when I tell you, this broke my heart to watch. I love Wendy Williams. I don't know if she had started filming a documentary about her life that kind of turned as her life kind of went downhill over the last few years into something bigger than just her retelling her story. But in it, there's a lot of talk about this guardianship that someone has over her. I don't know who it is specifically, but that person and that system has kind of separated Wendy from her family while she was going through a very hard time. In it, she talks in confessionals about people around her basically bleeding her dry of money and kind of taking her money without her knowing. She literally in an interview says she has like nothing to her name. And in the trailer, it also alludes to the fact that there is a drinking problem involved and a lot of her family did film this documentary with her to kind of be by her side and explain what has happened from their perspective. But it'll be interesting to see what comes out in this documentary. You know, obviously we've just seen a two minute trailer, but I would highly recommend watching it if you are wondering what has been happening with Wendy Williams as I literally have been wanting to know about this for a very long time because I just want her back and I'm interested to see what happens after this, you know, airs. Like, is this her return to the media or was this made because she really is in a not so good place? I don't know. I just want Wendy Williams back. I want the best for her and seeing this trailer like broke my heart. So y'all know how we've been talking about whenever something crazy in pop culture happens, we're like, if Wendy Williams were here to see this and talk about it on Hot Topics, well, we're about to find out where she is. Lifetime just dropped a trailer for a documentary for Where Is Wendy Williams? And from the trailer, it looks like an intervention. It's a two-parter. It's going to be airing on Lifetime the 24th and the 25th. They just had the drops during Black History Month, dear God. And right now, the situation does not look good. Like, she's been assigned a conservatorship at this point. She has a guardian that's not a member of their family. The family is calling out the guardian for not doing a good job taking care of her. They said that she has too many yes people around her, which we're not surprised about, especially with the people that are surrounding her as of recent. And you can tell from the trailer that she is not well. And yes, we can get into how this woman basically was a tv and radio gossip terror but you would not wish anything like she has gone through on anyone all right so you guys just heard all of that and listen look i know that wendy is not well liked and well respected by some people that she talked about throughout the years of her career but at the end of the day she made her money this is her money and you know she deserves to have access to every red cent now i have seen a few people have a difference of opinion on social media some people don't believe that wendy is actually as broke as she says she is because some people are pointing out the fact that if you're so broke why would you make a documentary and don't have access to the proceeds that you're going to make from doing this documentary and that's a valid question because if you're getting paid to do this documentary and it's going into your wells fargo account where you have guardianship over that account then you know why would you do it if you're not going to have access to any funds so i don't know how this works at the end of the day i do think that there's something wrong there with wendy and i hope that she finds a way through it all right so guys i'm gonna draw the line here i want you all to drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about this entire situation don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and until next time peace